break. We just don't give you anything easy, and you've got to earn everything you get against uh, ASU when you play them. And tonight, uh, we just couldn't, or this afternoon, rather, we just couldn't get the ball to go in the hole, especially second half. Uh, but I was proud of our, our guys, and I've been proud of them all year. It's just been a, a, a tough grind and an uphill battle for them uh, since the day that uh, I took the job. And I don't mean that in a negative way. It's just uh, kind of unconventional. And they've handled it beautifully, and they've been a pleasure to coach. Questions for Coach? On the right. Thanks, Scott. Yeah, just overriding question. Any thoughts about what this does to your tournament chances? You know, it's just out of our hands. Um, and, um, you know, we'll be just like everyone else sitting there watching on Sunday, and we hope for the best. Um, but, I, you know, it's just right now that uh, you can take a piece of paper and pen and drive yourself crazy if you want to. And, uh, but it just boils down to, you know, um, at the end of the day, is our body work good enough? Back left. Yeah, Herb, Herb said there's no question in his mind you guys belong in the tournament. What are your thoughts? Well, I, I think the, uh, number one, I think the Pac-10 has been grossly underrated all year. And I thought that at the start of the season, and my, my theory on that is this, and there were so many good players that went to the NBA last year out of this league, and everyone assumed the league would be down. But the Pac-10 is one of the leagues that just reloads. There were just names of kids that no one knew about. I mean, who knew Jordan Hill was going to be Jordan Hill this year? Uh, the step he'd made. Um, and you've got new faces coming in all, all the time that are great players. So uh, I just think that uh, the league was a little underrated when it started, yet... You know, I think uh, some of the wins we have are, are very big. We've beaten four conference champions. And, uh, and uh, so, you know, if, if, they're, if they're looking at that and the, the quality of wins, I, I think that we stack up with most people. Any other questions? Back left. It's, it's the same thing for uh, kind of Chase and Nick, what do, you, what do you think it's going to be like for you guys between now and uh, now and Sunday, waiting? Uh, they're going to practice, they know that. I mean, try to do anything you can to take your mind off it, you know. You're disappointed, but I know we're still going to go back and look at film and see what we did wrong, you know. So, um, you know, tournament or NIT, no matter what, we're still going to be playing, so... We're going to go back and watch what we did wrong and, you know, try to take our mind off what the selection committee is going to do. I'm sorry. Chase, Nick, does this remind you of, of last year at all, kind of first quarterfinal exit and kind of waiting until Sunday? Um, somewhat. Somewhat. Um, you know, last year we were kind of in the same situation. And, um, you know, sitting there on Sunday last year and, Seeing our team come up at the very end was very stressful, but um, you know it does kind of feel like the same thing. How did, sorry, how did you deal with those two days then? And you might do the same this year. Just to get um, like Coach said, we're going to be practicing, watching film. Um, you know, just just keep on playing the season. Um, you know, we're we're just here to try to get better as a team. Um, you know, forget about the past and look forward and, you know, whatever happens on Sunday, whatever happens. On the right. Russ, do you just kind of avoid all this by working or will you check out websites and watch conference tournaments, see which teams are doing what or? Well, I, I think we'll obviously, uh, you know, see scores and I, I love college basketball so I'll be watching games but, um, you know, again, you can, uh, you can write out a lot of different scenarios, and since we're not in that room making those decisions, we're not sure all the criteria that it takes to get in. So, uh, you know, the good part is this. Uh, we, we've had a fantastic year, and we love playing together. We really do. And, and we'd like to make the NCAA tournament, but we'd be honored just to play in postseason play. And, uh, you know, I hope it's in that tournament, but if not, hopefully the NIT will, you know, give us a crack and we can keep playing. And uh, this group of guys have come a long way in this year, and they're, and they're really together, and they like one another, and they like playing. So I guess from that standpoint, there's a lot of folks today that, you know, are packing up the uniforms. At least we get to wash ours and put them back on again. 
All right. Chase, uh, obviously Arizona State's a very good team, but I mean, it was five in a row to them. Did they do something particular to you guys that is difficult in addition to just being a really good defensive team and efficient on offense all that? Um, I mean, I think that we have trouble with them um, on offensive end. Um, you know, their defense, you know, they've been playing together for so long. So they know each other well, and they know how to communicate. They know how to rotate. And because they've been together so long, that's what makes their zone so tough. And, um, you know, there's been close games the last couple of games, and, um, you know, they've just been able to pull them out the close ones. On the left. Yeah, Chase, last year you declared for the NBA draft, withdrew your name. What are your intentions regarding the draft this year? Um, I'm, not, I'm not really focusing on it right now. Um, I'm letting, letting the season play out first, and then um, I'll make my decision now. All right. Russ, for those of us who have been with you guys every day, do, we, do people on the outside have any idea the kind of upheaval and stuff that's happened and how hard it's been for this team this year? Well, you know, Scott, the, the thing is, it, it's very unconventional what has happened, but as far as um, turmoil or controversy, we really haven't had any of that, and that's the thing that's made this such a joy for me uh, and our staff. I mean, these guys have come to work every single day, and I, I meet frequently with uh, uh, Chase and Nick, and, and uh, we just are always in communication on, you know, what do we need to do? How can we make this better? How can we make this situation, you know, for you guys good? And they understand we have to coach them. I mean, it's not like they're making the rules and everything, but they've been so um, so good to embrace everything we've tried to do. So, yeah, I mean, we, we all know the situation. We, we all anticipated Coach Olson being here this year, and, and we all thought that was going to happen. It didn't. And uh, yet I think we've... Uh, put the pieces together and had a phenomenal year. And I think there would be a lot of people that would have thought we could have never even been sitting here 19 and 13. And certainly Arizona's used to better records than that overall, but I'm proud of what we've done and I'm proud of the effort these guys have put in to get to this point. Any more questions? All right, thanks guys.